And welcome everyone to the GCW Judgment Day pre-show. I am TJ Yankees One along with Jared Mazik. And Judgment Day is right around the corner. We got eight great matches for Judgment Day. Um, and here on Scorched, we're going to be talking about um, the eight matches followed by the pre-show match. So, anyways, uh, we're going to do something like in push order, I'll call it. The, like the least push to the matches to the most push matches. Wait, you're not meant to say that, are you? You're meant to... <laughs> like, you know what, let's just go along. Uh, yeah. Uh, everyone breaks the poor wall on call, so... Indeed. <laughs> and plus, these matches aren't going to be in order. As they'll appear on the card. That makes sense. How? <laughs> It's not supposed to. All right. Okay. Now yeah, we've got that cleared up. All right. We're going to start things off with the GCW Tag Team Championship match. The New Age Radicals will defend once again against the New York Connection. Indeedy. And if you haven't seen on the DRW Dungeon episode, sorry for the plug. Just have to, you know. No, it's well. important. Important. Say it. Yes, on the RW Dungeon episode 13, I think it was, yeah. Um, basically, D-Mac lost his ma- match against the RW Superstar Justin Sparks, and then after the match, Seamus McCoy came in the ring and like started saying how he's basically angry that D-Mac keeps losing his matches, basically calling him out as the weak link of their tag team. D-Mac tried to turn him around, and Seamus just walked out the ring without say- really saying anything, so don't know what's going on there, really. And... You have to wonder how that will affect their match hit um, a Judgment Day, really. This feud, basically, not the D Max Sheamus one, the New Age Radicals New York Connection feud, has been based on one thing. It's uh, fairness, because remember, back at Evolution, originally New York Connection had won the match by disqualification because Elena Vasquez had uh, stuck her nose where it didn't belong. Then the Yankee Boy stepped in and banned her from ringside and restarted the match. That's what caused New Age Radicals to win. So this ma- rematch was made in the interest of fairness then, I guess. You could say that, but there's more to it. Remember on Brawl's War Episode 1, uh, Chris Castanalo, um purposely got his partner disqualified and then the two just walked out, basically. Brawl's War Episode 2 then comes and it's Seamus McCoy against Chris Castanalo. And I remember uh, it was Chris had to win by pinfall or submission to get the title match at Judgment Day for his team. And I found out why Seamus McCoy had to fight. Because one, uh, and not get on purposely count out disqualified. One, he's a fighting champion. And number two, this just in, it was because if D-Mac and Seamus McCoy had gotten themselves on purposely counted out disqualified, they would have been stripped of the tag titles. Of course, that's a a uh, common procedure in court and wrestling in general, but quite frankly, I don't believe that New Age Radicals would want to get themselves disqualified or counted out. I mean, like you said, those two are fighting champions. They are the reigning GCW Tag Team Champions, and I believe they want to face the true competitors. I mean, true like you know, tag teams for the belt. They want to fight brilliant competitors, and if they can be beaten one-on-one against either member of New... New there, you the know, New York Connection... <laughs> Yes, New York Connection, I apologize. Yeah, um, the name's so similar, but yeah. You know, they want to face them in a tag team match, and they want to prove that they are the best by beating them. So, you know. Well, that's the thing. On uh, episode one of Brawl's War, D-Mac beat Justin Main by disqualification, and then on uh, episode two, Chris Castanalo beat Seamus McCoy by submission. So it's even, but the New York Connection ha- really have the uh, pin or submission win over the New Age Radicals. Yes, and although this... You, it's always like a cliche saying that a team carries... or a person carries their momentum into their title match on the PPV if they've actually beaten their opponent beforehand. But it is true. If you have the psychological edge over your opponent by actually even going as far as to make them submit, it's, it's such a brilliant edge that you have over them. And it gives you the morale, it gives you the... Just a boost in your actual abilities as a wrestler. You go out there and you can beat them like that, basically. As long as you have the momentum. 
However, um, remembering back at Evolution when um, there was no disqualification thing, like the second time when it was restarted, the new Age Radicals actually got the win. So that was in the tag team match. True. And it also suggests, maybe that suggests that New Age Radicals can only win if there's no disqualification. Just run out of there. But I guess we'll have to wait and see how this, how this one turns out. All right. Um. But bef- all right. Before we move on to the next match, um, predictions and keep in mind: number one, the New Age Radicals' problems, and number two, Elena Va- Elena Vasquez will be at ringside in the corner of the New York Connection. What do you predict? You know what? Uh, quite frankly, I, one way or another, whether it's Selena Vasquez, <laughs> Elena <laughs> Vasquez. <laughs> <laughs> well, good with Italian names, <laughs> but yeah, if if she she's called she from now on, if she sticks her nose in it, she could very well get her tag team disqualified. However, I think the problems could rear their ugly head for the New Age Radicals here tonight, and I wouldn't count their chances against the New York Connection. So I have to go with the New York Connection. I think you've just summed it all up for me, really. Um. Yeah, I mean, um, New York Connection had the problem with Elena Vasquez, but the real problem should lie on the New Age Radicals for um, the problems they had as seen on DIW Dungeon episode number 13. So all in all, I have to agree with you. I have a feeling the New York Connection will walk out of Judgment Day, the new GCW Tag Team Champions. And and moving on... uh, the next match is the other tag team match we have on the card, and it's the beautiful people, Ruby and Sapphire, against Minnie and Dark Angel, and the women's title is on the line. It's the first woman to score a pinfall or submission wins the title. Oh, God. You always know when this, you always know when there's a tag team match and the singles title is on the line, but something's going to go down. I mean... <laughs> Quite frankly, when you when it's one member of a tag team, if they pin another member of the other tag team, if they win a singles title, you, you cannot know what's going to happen. One of them might turn on the other. Jealousy, maybe. One might break up the pin or submission. Or maybe they will actually formulate a plan and work together. Maybe unity is the best thing for them. Who knows? Well, that's, that's the thing. Um, We go back to Evolution, and many won the Women's Rumble to become the first champion. And then episode one, we see this heinous attack on Minnie after her match by Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, but again, Ruby and Sapphire would have the psychological edge over Minnie. I mean, Minnie is the champion, and she did prove herself to be probably the best diva on GCW by winning that Brattle Royale. But when you've got two people like Ruby and Sapphire coming after you, you, you have to watch your back, and you have to be careful every step of the way. And you don't even know if she can trust her tag team partner. I mean, hell, maybe she might turn on that. Well, that's the thing. On uh, episode number two, Sapphire actually beat Minnie in a non-title match, even though with a little help from Ruby, so they proved to be dominant. Then episode three comes, and Minnie and Dark Angel, uh, Minnie's tag team partner, ended up attacking the beautiful people and announced the match. And uh, actually, going back to what you said with the uh, Unity thing, it's been said apparently by the beautiful people in one of their interviews with Todd Grisham on episode two, I think. They don't care who's going to walk out. They just don't want Minnie to walk out as champion, and they just want one of them, Ruby or Sapphire, to walk out as champion. Yeah, but it's all very easy saying that in a backstage interview, but when That's it gets thing. right down right. to it, in the heat of the moment, <laughs> cat, cat, cats can fly. That makes no sense, but you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> Can't tell you back. <laughs> I don't, yeah, that's it. God. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But the point is, you know, beautiful people can say whatever they want, but when it gets down to it, they they better keep one eye on, on their on their tag team partner, because quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them turned on the other. Or the the X factor in this match could even be Dark Angel. I mean. You have to wonder why she would try and help Minnie, it's because she actually has a sense of justice, a sense of right, which is quite weird in wrestling nowadays. Or is it because she has some ulterior motive? Maybe she wants to get into the, onto the title action. Who knows? 
All right. Predictions. Predictions. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not entirely sh- I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't know whether the beautiful, beautiful people are going to turn on each other or not. But my money would be on Mini and Dark Angel to win this match and Mini to walk out still your GCW Div Champion or Women's Champion, whatever the hell you guys call it. It's the women's title. It's the women's Divas title. Divas so much. You should have the butterfly belt. That'll be your... Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that's you, the, you, go. you go talk to Yankee Boy about that. But um, I'm going to have to maybe agree with you. I just hope... I hope many retains or at least Dark Angel walks as champion. I don't want to see the hey, for people. Else? So if, if Dark Angel gets the pin, does she become champion? Yes, that's the thing. Oh, wow. Well, Oh, that changes everything, does it? <laughs> Dark Angel's walking out champion. All right. I just feel that she interjected herself in this to, you know. But, yeah. Let's just... Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's just move on. Yeah. But let's just move on. Um, and now we're going to stop the recording right here because uh, now there's going to be a little promo for the next match we'll discuss about. The international championship match between General Larry Platt and General Platt. And remember, this is also going to be for naming rights. Until then, yes. Yes, the, the whole confusion will stop. Until then, enjoy the promo.